Hey, Kevin Raber here. Once again, I'm in Indianapolis and uh, thanks for joining me. I want to talk to you a little bit about postcards. Now, you know I'm a big guy about having print and tactile kind of things uh, to hold on to. And we all go out and we all shoot these great pictures. I go on lots of trips. And one of the things that I've been using for quite a long time is Photocard by Bill Atkinson. It's an app. Um, you can get it to, at the App Store for iPhones and iPads. And I've had this for a number of years. We did an article on it a long time ago, but I want to bring it back up because I think it's an important app. Because what it does is it allows me to have postcards like these that I can send home from many of my trips. You know, here's some for the uh, grizzly bears that I did while I was in Alaska. And I send this home to my wife. And she gets it, usually while I'm still on my trip, as long as I have Wi-Fi. And uh, it, she just kind of like likes it, okay? Uh, it's something she gets, and she's been keeping these. She takes all the postcards that I've sent her, and this is one recently from a Zion trip. And I put a little rose sticker on the back because she likes it. And uh, this is uh, one from Greenland. And uh, it's an iceberg at sunset, and a little note to her. Uh, this is a grizzly bear catching fish. So I send these all the time, and once in a while, I'm even vain enough to send a picture of me. So, you know, hey, Deborah, I'm actually working. I'm in the field, and this is me in my little photo vest taking a picture. So these have become very important to us, and we have a huge stack of these, and they sit in like a basket at home, and it's kind of a nice way to remember the trip, but also to let the person know that while you're on the trip that you're remembering them. And the cool thing is, this is such an easy app to use. I'll give you a demo of it in a second. Uh, and you can also send electronic postcards. So to me, this is a, a real important uh, aspect of things. But a little bit about the app first. This app was created by Bill Atkinson. Now, that name might be familiar to many of you. For those of that don't know Bill, he's quite a character. He's one of the most intelligent and uh, smartest people I've ever known. He knows something about everything. He's the kind of guy that actually has a CNC machine in his garage. He's always engineering things but he's also a genius when it comes to apps and computers and things. He was uh, like the 35th employee of Apple, and he worked extensively on the Macintosh computer, pretty much responsible for the pull-down menus and the user interface that we actually use today. But he developed this as one of the early apps for the iPhone when it came out, and it's just grown into being a really resourceful and really good app, and a very, very interesting app in a sense of Compared to a lot of apps, he's really thought this thing out. So I want to give you a tour of this app right now so you can see exactly what it does. First off, I'm going to be doing it in vertical format because we can actually see the front and the back of the card versus if I do it in horizontal where I can only work with one part at a time. So uh, excuse the vertical format in the video, but I think you'll see it's easier to work with. Normally, the first thing I do is select the image. And to select the image, I'm just going to hit the camera menu and I'm going to choose from photo library and I'm going to go to one of my libraries and I am going to pick kind of a fun picture and uh, let's pick that one there of a farm. So I'm going to pick a farm and I get a dialog box and you're offered a, a cropping solution so I'm just going to crop in just a hair and move the image around just a hair and then I'm going to say done. So now that I've got the picture and it's an old barn I'm going to choose a stamp so I tap on the stamp icon, and I've actually made my own stamps. And this is the other cool factor. It's a small fee he charges, but you can make your own stamp. And I have a stamp of my cat. So it's a lot of fun. I, I use my own cat. But you can use your kids, for example, or a picture of you, whatever you'd like. Next thing I do is address my card. So I'm going to tap right here, and I'm going to send this to my wife, and I'm going to basically uh, look up in the address book. Fadley, Raber, and I get the address, and I select, and I say done, and it now fills in the address, along with all the barcode stuff that the post office needs to automatically read this in the system. So now I've got it addressed, I've got the picture selected, I've got my stamp selected, now it's time to do the text. So I come in here and I hit text, and I select the text I want, and I just, tap where I want it, and I start writing, Dear Deborah, and I could write a whole lot of stuff, Love, Kevin. 
and I close my keyboard, I get a look at it, and now there's one little finishing touch I'd like to put on here. So I'm gonna go in here to the stickers and I got a whole slew of stickers. And I'm gonna put a big ass heart and a big smiley face. And I think I'm going to use a camera. So I've selected my stickers. Now I move these stickers, so you can just grab a hold of them and you can move them where you want. So I'm gonna move that down by name, that over here, so now I've got my postcard all ready. And if it's all set and ready to go, all I need to do is just say, very good. I'm gonna click on the very most right icon and say, send postcard by mail. It wants to know that I have copyright permission. I say, I have permission. Confirm print and mail in the United States. I have 88 credits, I've bought a lot of credits. Sending this card will use two credits. So it's two credits per card. So what happens is you do in-app purchases and buy credits so that you can send postcards. And each postcard is uh, two credits. And that covers the postage and everything else. And I'm gonna say send, and I get an order confirmed, and I say go ahead, and it uploads, and order uploaded or ready to go. So that quickly I've sent my postcard out. Now what I do at night is I sit and I go through a couple of the pictures for today uh, that I've either shot on my iPhone, which automatically transfers to my iPad, or if I work on something for my larger images, I make a little JPEG, drag it over to the iPhoto app, and then it appears and I can use one of those. So I normally send a postcard a day while I'm traveling, and I try to at least. Uh, so it's kind of fun. I'm gonna come back here, and now I'm gonna show you a couple of the other things as far as preferences so that you can get into this app and get a little bit more of a power user with it when you try it out. Now that you've seen how a postcard is created, I wanna show you a little bit about some of the other tools in this app so that you can find your way around it uh, really quickly and also see the kind of detail that Bill put into putting this app together. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna start off in the very left bottom menu uh, bar and it's a little gear icon and it's called photo card settings and this is where originally you put in all your information such as your account settings and you know I have my name and email address and a password you can change your name you can change email change password and do all the other particular things you can buy credits now when you buy credits I can buy 30 credits for $25. So it takes two credits to put a postcard out, so you can do the math on that. And you can buy as little as one credit for a dollar. To send a postcard with mailing and printing and all that, it takes two credits, that's $1.90. What's new, as Bill updates this, he always is updating this. So updated for iOS 11, uh, it's been updated. It also now works with the iPhone X. Drag and drop's been improved. Message zoom has been fixed. Order confirmation now happens. There's a teaching video that he actually goes into his own, which will take you to a video that uh, will allow you to see how PhotoCard works. So if you need to go and do that, you've got that uh, to work on. Uh, you also have the ability to set interface sounds, automatically look up address corrections, BCC me. Uh, show sent by text and display default captions. There's a big help menu, huge help menu. Bill's been really, really good at this, where you can pick any topic you want. So uh, say, for example, we want a choosing text font size and spacing. So you opens up a scroll menu, and essentially it's one long document, but it takes you right to the topic. So it's kind of fun to go right through the whole user guide and scroll through the whole user guide. Um, it, it doesn't take any time at all, but you can really learn some of the power pieces that Bill's put into this. And remember, you know, you don't have to send picture postcards. A lot of times I do this to a giant mailing list uh, using my email and it goes out as an email postcard. So that's kind of fun. Then the next button is a command button. It's like a square with a pen through it. And this is where it gives you a chance to start off a new postcard. And then essentially it erases the content but leaves the picture there. So it's presuming, say for example, I want to send Deborah, my wife, a postcard with one picture, and I want to use the same picture to send a postcard to my mom. It presumes first that you might want to use the same photo. So it clears all the text and information, allows you to start over, but keeps the photo. And if you want to choose the photo, we go to the next icon, which is the camera icon. We click on that. And there we can choose from the photo library, choose a previous photo, show a nature photo, which Bill has a lot on, or make a photo collage, which is kind of fun. So 
And when you make a photo collage, you can go in there and put a whole slew of different images together. Bill has his own library of nature photos. So you know, if you don't have any of your own or you're just looking to send general postcards, you can pick any number of one of these beautiful photographs that Bill has done, and there's a ton of them, so they're also there. And of course, if you want to choose from a previous photo, previous photos that I've used in the past are stored, and I can pick a previous photo that I've used for a postcard before, which I think is a really great little feature. He remembers a lot of the cool things that you've done in the past. Then you've got the uh, sticker part and the sticker part is extensive you can see there's a whole slew of stickers but also up here it's recent stickers so if you have a preference to stickers like cameras or hearts and different things like that they're retained and you don't have to go searching through this giant catalog of stickers that's a great little addition then he has the so-called call outs okay voice notes if you want to use those and you can pick one of those and then you can actually record so this won't work on a, on a postcard that you send by mail, uh, but you can record something that would go on your email address. So that's fun to do if you want. Text. Bill put a lot of text in here, and along the side here is an area where you can size up the text. You can see the size of the, the font changing, and you also have spacing between the words, so you can let, do space the layout, so, and change the font to your heart's content till you find one that you like. And last but not least is the action icon, which is address the postcard, send the postcard, save the postcard, or view. So if you want to save the postcard image, you can save the whole thing and it would save it. Okay, if you want to send a postcard by mail or view sent postcard, you can go ahead and I have all the postcards that I've ever sent and you can see that they're all saved in the system. It's a lot of fun to do. I have a blast with it. I strongly recommend that you use it. Now, you saw that right now this is set up for sending directly by mail. If I want to send it by email, it changes the address information here, and then on the action item here, it says send postcard by email. So if I send the postcard by email, it opens up basically an email address, and I put it all together, and then I just say send, and away it goes. Email confirmed. So that's how you would do the email. Now you can also use an email group list. So if you have a group list made up, then you can select that whole group list and this email will be sent to everybody in that group. Sometimes rather than just send postcards out you know, by hard mail, I'll send them to my wife, but I'll send an email out to everybody so they know what I'm doing. Kind of fun. Anyway, it's a blast app to use. I have a lot of fun with it. It means a lot to the people that receive it. And I did want to share it with you because I think it's one of those special apps that does a really cool thing for photography. And more than anything else, it gives you something to hold on to. So great system. Bill Atkinson, thanks very much. As always, you're always amazed me with what you do. And uh, I thank you for being such a great friend over the many years. Uh, short history is when the first iPhone came out, I was out of the country. So I asked Bill if he would get it for me, and Bill probably could have just made a phone call and gotten the iPhones, but no, he's the kind of guy that stood in line for almost a whole day, waited in line and bought three iPhones, and one of them, by the time I got back from my trip, was waiting for me in my mailbox. That's the kind of guy Bill is. It's a friend, and this is the kind of app that he puts together. Just a lot of fun. I'm sure we'll be visiting Bill again soon. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on a luminous landscape.